Today we're in the Royal Forest of Dean and in fact we're at Lidbrook where they had this magnificent viaduct as you see in this rather grotty photograph stuck there in the background and today's mission is to see if there's anything left, anything we can find to do with the viaduct and plus a little look at the uh, railway line. The uh, viaduct was built in 1872 and the Strange thing is, the pictures of it being built remind you very much of the pictures of it being taken back down again. It ran passengers until 1929 and it ran goods until 1951, by which time the speed limit over the structure was 5 miles an hour. It was finally dismantled in 1966. And what a magnificent cycleway that would have made! They'd left, they'd left it in situ. I suppose the uh, the problem would have been maintenance. It would have cost an absolute arm and a leg, I would have thought, to maintain that in good order. Anyway, let's have a quick look on a map and see if we can orientate ourselves and see what today's mission's all about. Well, here we are then, Royal Forest of Dean. This is today's mission. We're there, which is Lower Lidbrook, where the viaduct used to live. Here's the railway line heading for the uh, Forest of Dean, and there's another tunnel there. So we'll make that our mission today, to get from Lower Lidbrook to the tunnel area. Once we get here, I know that this, this portal, the southern portal, is accessible. Uh, the top one, not so much so. It's down in a very deep, rocky valley. Anyway, we'll see what we can see. We'll probably have a wander around and see what's, uh, what's in the area. So we we'll take a little bit of a closer look. This then is Lower Lidbrook with the viaduct across there. I can get the mouse to do what I want it to do. We're parked about there. I have to see if we can get ourselves up onto the uh, railway line. I don't know how much of this is uh, open, available, whatever. But there's only one way we're going to find that out as usual. If we pop to the other end, there's our tunnel which crosses underneath the main uh, Colford Road. So, as per usual guys, only one way to find out what's there and what's available. Lower Lidbrook then, outside the River Wye. Very pretty. The Lower Lidbrook Valley then, where the railway used to span from there right the way across to there. So we're headed up there. I'm hoping that takes us to the track bed. A bit of a climb. A few quaint old buildings here. Well, no good putting it off, is it? Let's get going. Right, I'm puffing and wheezing already. I've just started. There are lands here, look, which is good. In between the steps, give you a chance to change your stride, which is good. Just met an elderly lady coming down here. Does this twice a day? Well, we've reached the pier on this side then, or part of the structure floor anyway. Still out of breath. This looks like the spot where it used to launch off across the valley. Over there. Broad gauge rail straining post here. Look. There's more wonderful, wonderful brickwork forming part of the abutments. The station was up here somewhere, on up there. That's a picture with the sunlight on, isn't it? We've not done climbing yet. Not too far to go, hopefully. And here on the side you can see, look, some old sleeper fence posts. We've reached track level, which is that way looking towards the viaduct. 
We branch off across there. Now this is where I'm not sure if we can take that up or not. Well, I wouldn't say there's a path, but people pass this way. Right, right on top of the embankment now. As you can see from peering down there. A very rough track. Takes us towards the viaduct. And see when we get there. We must be near the edge, I would think. Gotta watch where your feet go here, you trip quite easily. Right, well. And with some rather grubby wire, we've actually reached the end of the pillar. Good so the railway viaduct then was right in front of us now. This is the launch off uh, point, if you like. And it spanned the valley. Magnificent structure, right the way over to there. The vandals took it down. Imagine what a cycle path that would have been. Don't know if we made it there on camera, but we're right on the very edge. Not sure that you'll get this, but we are now right on the very, 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 very edge. Old sleeper post there, or sorry, an old rail there. And they demolished it as far as here. And then gave up. Right, back on the trail. And we're now heading towards Lydney, Colford, Cinderford. That sort of direction through the forest. So far, so good. I'm not quite sure how far we're going to get along here, though. Looking at the map, it looks as if uh, it's a bit iffy. We'll see, as always. You get some idea of the steepness of the bank from here. Looking down on all the buildings. What a feat of engineering. You can see the top of some coping stones here. So this must be buttressed with a rather fine wall. The area here is quite wide. Possibly where the halt was. It was only a halt. I can't see any signs. Looking back that way you can see where the area we're standing on starts to widen. So, in with a chance, I think. I, can't, I haven't seen anywhere else that was wide enough for a station. So this is it. Is that some old roofing material? Or just somebody dumping asbestos? Could be either. Pretty good chance, I reckon, past this rough-hewn lump of rock, that that is the Holt. Lower Lidbrook Holt. Look how this tree has thrust those coping stones away. The houses perch precariously up there. I'm not sure I'd go and perch for that to be honest. Oh, the red of the fine retaining wall. Look at that for a fine specimen. Glorious. Oh, that kept the old masons busy for a while. Bit of Bob Risha doing its thing. And over there are some tubular handrails, which probably mark the station limit, I would think. Tucked in there, way to the left. Well, we're not making much mileage. Onward. What sort of bird that is? Anybody? All oh, right. 
Looks like we have an accommodation crossing coming up here. Take a look. Well, here we've got a huge concrete post holding the tree up on this side. And probably something similar there. If you get in really close you can actually see it there, not just. We cross the railway and head down there then on the accommodation crossing. It's a path that's still being used, which is good. Broad gauge rail straining posts doing duty up there. And something else doing duty in there. I'm guessing the concrete posts. And we're carrying on up the valley. So far we can get. There's a bit of an embankment coming through on our left. Some lovely fresh spring growth. Right now we've got an access road coming up on our right. Railway road it's got to be I would think, isn't it? Look at that amount of engineering and whatnot. Yeah. Hmm, strange, because we seem to be in the middle of nowhere. That's that's why. It leads to here, which is kind of nowhere really, unless there's something else. Keep looking, see what we can find. Lonely old concrete post on top of the embankment. Do you see it? Centre screen, or oh, it will be in a sec. Oh, this is a typical Parkinson's walk type walk, really. We're getting nowhere fast. Or rather slowly, actually. Well, if you can make it out there, you've got a wire post, fence post, and a wire spacer. And a blue bell wood, kind of. Poor old gimbal working overtime. Another crossing. Coming up. Path this time. Not sure I fancy that. And the other side's not a lot better. Good grief. As you can see, the steps go on and on up there. Almost certainly a railway built, wouldn't you think? The main street right of way, I guess. Well, we had to uh, keep it going. We weren't allowed to extinguish it. As you can see, it's quite wide here. I don't think any of this was double tracked. Uh, passing loop? No, I don't think so. But there were quite a lot of branches off this, down to various businesses. And there's rather a fine rock buttress back there, so it's possible they just went back to find something solid stop it falling down. One of the issues with this is, of course, I don't know where I am in relation to uh, branches or sidings or anything else really, we're just uh, plunging along. And view across to the other side of the valley. Narrower now. A sort of heck of a way. Ah, right, looks like another walkway. Crikey. They're well off for walks here. Again, the railway have provided stone steps. Christ, it's a bit steep. on both sides. And here we've got some nice detail, look. Nice straining post there. Wood rail straining post. Concrete post. 
They lavish out on posts here, not so much uh, split sleeper. I guess when they first built railways, they didn't have any sleeper stock to use for fence posts because they hadn't yet got old enough to uh, warrant replacing. Look at this old broad gauge rail. Trains once run over that. Amazing to think. Can you see a bit of wear on the side from the flanges? Without my imagination. Coming down here, look. Is that flange wear? Yeah, go on, of course it is. And on it goes up there. Good Lord. Right, we'll carry on. An iron tube fence post up there and a retaining wall. I'm going for that being a siding up there or a private branch line if you prefer. Otherwise, why put in uh, tube fencing? Well, the fence and the wall continue for quite a way. It's got to be railway, isn't it? Some point up there, some business as such. And some sort of access tunnel look. You can actually see a second um, tunnel, do you call it there, leading up to the house. There's probably a business in its day though, who knows. What a find. But across the track and down there, there's another access road or path. Okay, we'll carry on. fence detailing and the wall still follows us on the left. Don't know how long that's going on for. Hard to see isn't it with these shadows. Here we've got the wall still on the left and tube fence posts on the right. And not made out of uh, rail stock. Unusual. Well, we'll have to see if we can't make something out from the uh, maps. What we got here. Uh, large post heaves into view. And indeed, there's the answer. Centre screen, Upper Lidbrook Station. And the large post probably marks the station entrance. I think this is the railway. Oh. Right, well that's blown that up then. Coal everywhere. And a little bit of ballast. Just a bit. Well we have quite an open aspect here. Off to the left here we've got a stump of an old uh, telegraph pole and its support. Well, since anybody sent a message on that. And there's its faithful old support there, look. Looks like some sort of structure up here. Well, it's a bridge or a tunnel. If you look to the right, we're a long, long way up. So there's obviously nothing going over the top of it. Probably just a bore through solid rock. Let's take a closer look. 
lot of ballast here. Nice. Yeah, that's a bore through solid rock. My gosh, look at that. Amazing. Buttressed up with concrete on the left. Bit of brickwork down there. Well, masonry anyway. But apart from that, hewn out the rock. Still has some soot stains on it though, if you look very carefully. That's just gorgeous, isn't it? Imagine the old trains puffing and huffing through here. That's made the day worthwhile straight away. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, look at the, the uh, depth of rock above it, up here. Uh, I don't know why they didn't make a cutting out of it. So, they know best. Just off here we have uh, a modern retaining system. Gay ponds or something like that, doesn't it? And then just off here, at the end, you've got the original, which is uh, stone laid flat. Which has started to fail over there. It's got some water behind it, I guess. Okay. Very interesting of sorts. One of those. Church. And that's the end of the line then. And there's a path here. Yeah. Oh. Well, there appears to be a oh. bit of a dispute going on here between the locals. Those that want to use the paths and those that don't want them to, I think we'll leave them to it. I'm going to call this video to an end here, I think. A little bit uh, whacked out at the moment. So I'll make my way back through Upper Lidbrook, which I assume this is, although I've seen no sign to say it is, but I think that's where we're at. And the film on the Meristock Tunnel, I'll sort that out next. That'll be the next film along from Parkinson's Walks. I hope you'll join me for that one. I'll catch you there.